there was a young boy who was short, sharp and the brightest in his class. His seniors took his help to solve difficult problems in science. He could have gone unnoticed in crowd, but questions related to mathematics and science brought spark in his eyes. He grasped theories of science faster than the speed of light. He came from a poor but educated family. His father was a high school teacher but an avid reader of English literature. He wanted to study engineering and applied for an entrance test for IIT along with his friends. He would sit below a shade of a stone mantap close to Chamundi Hills in Mysore and study with his friends. He was the guide for others. While others struggled to solve the problems in question paper, he would smile shyly and solve them in no time. He dreamt of studying at IIT. It was the ultimate aim for any bright boy of that age, as it is still today. He appeared for entrance test in Bangalore. When the IIT entrance results came, he was thrilled to know that he had passed with high rank. He shared this news with his father who was reading the newspaper and told him that he wants to join IIT. His father congratulated him first and then said with a heavy voice, My son, you are a bright boy. You know our financial position. I have five daughters to be married and three sons to educate. I am a salaried person. I cannot afford your expenses at IIT. You can stay in Mysore and study as much as you want. His father was sad that he had to tell the bitter truth to his son. But circumstances were like that. He could not have helped. The boy had to understand reality. The teenager was disappointed. His dreams were burned to ashes. He was in sorrow. He did not reply. As he was an introvert, he never shared his unhappiness or helplessness with anyone. He did not get angry, though his heart was bleeding. The day came. His friends were leaving for IIT Madras and he went to the station to say goodbye and good luck to them. They were discussing their new hostels, new courses and new opportunities. They insisted him to join them. But he did not reply and remained silent. When the train left, he stood there even after he could no longer see the train or the waving hands. It was the June of 1962 in Mysore city. Monsoon had set in and it was getting dark. It had started to drizzle, yet he stood there motionless. And at that moment, he said to himself without anger or jealousy. All students from the IIT study well and do big things in life, but it is not the institution. Ultimately, it is you and you alone who can change your life by hard work. Probably, he was following the philosophy of the Bhagavad Gita. Your best friend is yourself and your worst enemy is yourself. Later, he worked very hard and focused on one thing, never bothering about his personal life or comforts. He never used the help of any caste, community or political connections to go up in life. A son of a school teacher became a pioneer of India's software industry and he started the information technology wave in India. He showed other Indians it was possible to earn wealth legally and ethically. Today, he has become an icon of simplicity, uncompromising quality and fairness apart from being a philanthropist. He really believes in the motto, powered by intellect and driven by values. Any guesses? Yes, he is none other than Infosys founder and present chairman Nagavara Ramrao Narayan Murthy.